Hey everybody, welcome back to Grilling with V. I'm Vanessa. I know it's been a while since I posted my last video. It has been summertime and I've been having some fun with some other things, but I'd like to talk to you about something new. This thing right behind me. I built a do-it-yourself cold smoker. I like to show you how that's inside. Let's do it. All right, here she is. So it's about five feet tall, made out of half inch plywood and two by fours. Got some latches here, those open up. All right, inside. Eight shelves with a little deflector plate, my tube, my maze tube smoker, and then just another, um, I guess another rack with uh, some like two layers of heavy duty foil on it. And then in the back there is another vent. So I'll show you the vents up top here. Got a vent there, you can set. And then come around the back. Got the back vent here. Just push that open like so. So over the last few weeks, I've actually been smoking a lot of cheese inside my pit boss there, but I've been kind of running out of room and with it being made of metal, it's hard to kind of keep the temperature down. So I decided to build my own kind of cold smoker. This will be specifically just for cheese, spices, fruits and vegetables, anything that doesn't really need any kind of heat source. And then these racks are all removable. So I can put whatever in already or like however many racks I need and then this is about a one foot gap so to make sure you know it doesn't catch on fire and then we've put a, a seal around the whole edge and so it's the smoke stays inside now because this is my first day um, having it put together I'm actually going to season it and by doing that, I'm going to let it sit in just smoke for about six hours or just the duration of the, the smoke tube, wherever it has it. All right, and that's what this video is going to be about. So let's get to it. So 10 minutes have just gone by. I already set up my tube smoker. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to close the door and just let this start. It's like just let this thing start seasoning. So two hours has gone by. Uh, I did add a temperature probe to the inside just to see what the temperature is um, while it's smoking. It did go a little bit above 85 degrees, which I like. I know you're not supposed to go over 90 when you do cheese, but 85 is kind of my max, like from what I've seen. Um, and it turns out that I probably had, I had to put an ice, a nice uh, bath kind of set inside. So I have the top open to the max. I have the bottom just opened up a crack there. Current temperature, 79 at the very bottom, 82 near the top, which is perfect. And it's been sitting there for the last, I don't know, I'd say hour and a half. So let's look inside and take a look. been doing its thing very nicely. You can see all this smoke right here already starting to form. Seasoning well. Let's just take a peek underneath the smoke tube. No damage there, not going through the foil. Look at the top. It's not producing any burn marks. Yeah, so see I put the uh, ice tray in there to keep it cooler. Just got some temp probes. But yeah. 
So if I didn't mention this before, I'll mention it now. This thing is about uh, five feet tall, 20 inches wide by about 12 inches deep. Made out of half inch plywood, some two by fours and some one by twos for the inside rack area. Uh, we also put some handles on the side here of two by fours and they're just like kind of like indented to hold on to. Uh, three hinges for the door. And then two locks for the side. All in all, I'm super impressed with the way this has turned out. That is just my intro video to my new uh, cold smoker. My uh, homemade cold smoker. I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Matt for building me this. He would say, you designed it, yes. And I got the materials and stuff, but he did put it together for me. So thank you, Matt. My little barbecue corner is starting to become complete. And honestly, I'll probably just cover it with a tarp um, when I'm not using it, just to keep it out of the weather. And that's it for me. I hope you really enjoyed my tutorial on my new homemade cold smoker. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see future videos, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, happy grilling!